morning guys uh, this morning I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna check a muscat funnel trap on my way and then I'm gonna go to the lake and uh, we're gonna head up to Driftwood Creek and start setting it uh, it's supposed to rain today so we'll see how that goes how wet I'm gonna get I got my raincoat with me so should be okay and uh, otherwise hopefully I make lots of catches on the sets that I do got out We'll see how things go. So we're just at that funnel trap I was saying. And uh, I just got number three out of here. And a cage biter. <laughs> Gotta love when they do that. So we'll get him out. Gotta love when the first trap you check in the morning is producing rats. No, he's caught. There's a uh, little Mr. Muskrat again. Seems to be only catching small ones, but out of this Kate funnel, but that's okay. Uh, rat's a rat. Even if I get two bucks, I don't really care. I'm more trapping because, well, I love trapping, and uh, I have to say I find it funny. When I hear people say oh, or ask how much how the prices are going to be and then say oh I'm not going to hit it as hard. Well, in reality we trap because we're helping to maintain populations, healthy populations, taking the excess, uh, preventing disease, all that fun stuff. We're not supposed to be trapping for money. Money is just a bonus. Good morning, sweetie. Hi. You want out? On your free. Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Where are you going? Over here. Hey, Katie. She listens like a child. Do I got any muskrats? So we'll, uh, I gotta float down here. We'll check it out. And uh, as you can see, I'm using this smaller boat today. It's uh, 12 foot short and wide. And I'm using it because uh, it's just a better, a smaller boat for the rivers and creeks and stuff. So I think it'll go better for trapping. I can get in a little deeper. I won't have to climb over the windshield of that one. And, uh, yeah, I can't put as much in it, but at least it'll be a better boat for trapping anyways. And I can still get a box or two of Connie's and uh, other stuff in here. Here's that muscat float. I see one trap set off, one trap's missing. So we'll... Uh, Pull her up here and see what's in it. Sorry, can't fall over. There we go. Oh, I got one rat.
not sure what he did, but... <clears throat> of things. So there's Mr. Muskrat. Front paw catch. We'll take that, eh? Hey guys, so a uh, slight change of plans. It's uh, pissing down rain pretty good. And uh, I checked the forecast. It's supposed to rain all day and all night. So it's supposed to stop by morning. Um, so basically, I'm going to skip today's check. I'll just go tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, we'll spend the day in the shed. I've got the three beavers from yesterday and the eight muskrats plus the two that I just caught today to do. Hey guys, so uh, as you can see, a slight change in plans. Uh, the rain quit for now, so I decided I'd go check since I uh, got all my fur done up from yesterday so I got uh, 10 muskrats and three beavers already on the boards drying and uh, it's only noon so I may as well go get some more fur eh? <laughs> uh, oh well it'll be fun I'm not gonna set anything as you can see the boats pretty well empty just a bucket of footholds for the floats later but uh, We'll go check anyways and see what I got and I can come out and set tomorrow when it's uh, supposed to be nice. So I'll turn you off for now and we'll get out to the first sets and then we'll turn you back on. Starting to think I should have just skipped the check. <laughs> uh, none of my beaver sets got hit in Tamarack anyways. And uh, so far this is the only float that I've ever got to it. That seems to have gotten hit. Oh, I see paws. Paws. Ooh, another big rat. I'll take that. One's better than none. I'll just recover up this other one. And then I'll uh, reset this one and get it back on there. Hey guys, so I'm at the float with the uh, clothespin. And uh, as you can see, there's fresh poop all over my both my traps were gone and uh, sure enough I got today's first double so they're still in the trap we'll uh, get them out get this reset and we'll carry on to the next one so that's good we're up to uh, six rats today so can't complain about that hey eh? uh, six no five rats today so far so yep We'll uh, get these guys out, we'll carry on, and it started the rain, so I'll keep my videos short while I make them. So I got Mr. Muskrat in that one. Uh, I caught him by both front paws, which leads me to believe that I still need to add weight to my uh, traps because one didn't hold him under. Mind you, he is a big rat, but... And then, right here we got Mr. Castor. Uh, the other one just on the other side of the thing here is empty. But we got one. It doesn't look like he went very far. Well, he wouldn't with a trap around his neck like that. So, nice sized beaver. Nice and big. We'll uh, get him out, we'll get the rat out. And then we shall carry on. Okay, so big beaver there. Uh, this is the hut where I set the channel sets yesterday. 
First float is empty, nothing in it, nothing came. Second one's missing a trap. And I can't see the third one yet. Well, I can see the third one, but I can't see if it's missing a trap yet. Uh, missed the muskrat right there. And the third one's got both traps on it. So we got 10 muskrats today and two beavers. I guess that's a decent day, eh? We'll uh, get this guy out, get it reset. And then we'll go get Mr. Beaver out and then we'll head her on in and put everything up to dry and come back tomorrow and skin and check. Good morning guys. So I'm uh, headed to Driftwood Creek. We're going to do some setting and then I'll uh, check the sets that I had out uh, from Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday kind of thing. Today's Sunday, Thanksgiving weekend. Happy Thanksgiving everybody. Um, but one of the things you can see I got uh, two uh, buckets of traps there, 330s. Uh, I think I got a dozen with me and then I've got eight floats with me today uh, that's about all I could fit <coughs> excuse me all I could fit in the boat um, so as I go up the driftwood creek it takes me about 20 minutes half an hour in my boat to get there so uh, I'm just checking to see this float. I got a couple floats along here. Anyways, so uh, while I make my way up, I set up two floats already. All I gotta do is uh, put them in place and uh, carry on. I think that float's missing a trap for sure from the looks of things, maybe two. got a beaver set and a float in there that floats missing a trap for sure I can't tell if my traps are still in there for the 330s so I'll have to see if I got a beaver in there too but I think I got a rat for sure so yeah uh, I set up a couple floats just to get them ready so that when I get to driftwood all I have to do is drop in the first two and uh, then I can carry on just try and speed things up a little bit and uh, save time if you can do stuff while you're moving so that when you get there it's just a matter of dropping the set in it uh, makes trapping a lot quicker and faster and easier and better and there goes a duck <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys out there. So we're just on Driftwood Creek. Uh, it's hard to see from here. I can barely see it, but there's a clothespin there with a 330 underneath it, a float right there on the other side, and then another clothespin with a 330 underneath it. And here, this log, uh, I've actually got two nails in it from where I was putting my traps the years before. 
but I stuck a float in front of it this year. Uh, two traps is better than one and the floats seem to be working well so I may as well use them and uh, double up my chances of catching more rats at a time. Uh, we'll work our way up around the corner and see what we can't find. Hey guys, uh, so I just counted. Um, I've been writing down what I've been putting in, what I've been putting out, and I got 23 floats and 20 uh, 330s out. So hopefully uh, by tomorrow I'll have a good uh, catch ratio. I'll have traps full of fur, and uh, we'll carry on down the lake and check to see what's. I caught last night and hopefully I got lots of fur to fill the boat with. Um, I think that's pretty good. It took me three days to set everything just because uh, checking and I was skinning as well and just taking my time kind of thing. So uh, I'm going to have a little lunch, snack, break, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to carry on down the lake and uh, check, to see, check my sets. So hopefully I got lots of fur and we'll uh, turn you on when I get something interesting. Alrighty. Hey guys, so I'm just in this little bay. Uh, that float's got two traps still on it. This one's got two traps off of it. There's one rat there, and the other one's down there. So, got me a double. That's always good. There's rat number one. Uh, got him by one paw for sure. Almost two. There's rat number two. So it's always good, eh? We'll take that. Get this reset and then we'll go check. I got one on the other side of the bay here. We'll go check it and then we'll carry on. This is the log that I'm tied off to. Uh, so far I think it's four rats out of here now. And then two on the other one that's just up here that didn't get hit last night. So, good little location for rats anyways. <laughs> 